Hi, I'm Charles Bruder. I'm co-chair of the Executive Compensation and Employee Benefits Practice at Norris McLaughlin Marcus. And today, we hosted a seminar on employee retirement plan compliance issues. I presented with Christy D'Angelo and Eisner Amper and Attila Toth of Portfolio Evaluators. We talked about a number of potential compliance issues associated with tax qualified retirement plans. We spoke a little bit about the investment opportunities available under plans, where plan sponsors can get into trouble, and how to properly structure the investments offered under the plan. We spent some time talking about the audit issues associated with plans and specifically why audits are important and how they can identify potential plan compliance issues. Talked about some best practices uh, as far as how to determine whether in fact there are issues associated with your plan. And most importantly, spent a fair amount of time at the end of today's seminar talking about how to correct those plan issues and problems, whether they be operational failures or plan defects. We talked a little bit about the Internal Revenue Service Employee Plans Compliance Resolution System, as well as the Voluntary Fiduciary Correction Program that's sponsored by the U.S. Department of Labor. Two programs sponsored by the federal government, which allow plan sponsors and fiduciaries to not only correct potential issues, but also to avoid potential liability uh, on a personal level uh, with respect to those fiduciaries. It's a well-attended seminar. We got some great comments. We got some great questions. And most importantly, I think everyone took away from the seminar the fact that if you're not looking at your retirement plan administration, if you're not reviewing your plan documents periodically, if you're not looking at the investments that are available under your plan, you have potential issues and potential liability lurking beneath the surface. And so one of the best practices you can do is to be proactive. Take a look at your plan administration, your plan document, and the investments that are being afforded. And hopefully, you won't have to take advantage of any of the corrective programs or otherwise make any corrections under your plan.